Here I want to show you how to copy this geometry on the main spindle over to the subspindle. First thing I do, I select my coordinate system for the subspindle. I will see X coordinate system number five. Then I open up, I duplicate and I zoom in on the left side of the part. Alt click where the left end of the part. I get a value, a positive value of 9.6748 and make that a negative value. Double click on the geometry and zoom real quick and click do it. Now I have copied the geometry over to the subspindle area. The last step I want to do, I want to associate that geometry with the coordinate system of the subspindle. I click on modify, change coordinate system XYZ, and I'm done. I have the geometry now at the proper location on the subspindle, and I have it associated with the CX coordinate system of the subspindle. Quick and easy. We can do it a similar way with our solids. Hide our geometry for a moment. Here I have a solid over in the main spindle. I want to put that again back into my body bag. It's still highlighted. I click Control D because I want to duplicate that solid and I want to transfer it. Now make sure we still have our coordinate system selected for the subspindle, the CX coordinate system. The solid is still highlighted. I want to modify, in this case I only want to transfer it because I have it, have it already duplicated. Translate. Let's make that a zero just for now. I rotate the part a little bit and I click on Alt and the very end of my part and now I have again the same value 9.6748 and make that a negative. I click on do it. Now it's over here on the subspindle side and I want to make sure I actually still have to associate that solid over here with the coordinate system of the subspindle. Click on change CS XYZ and now I have it in the proper location and associated as well with the coordinate system of the subspindle. Quick and easy, couple of clicks and done.